The Paris 2024 Paralympics have entered day six with no Ugandan in action. This gave the State Minister for Sports, Peter Ogwang, an opportunity to visit the camp. He arrived with good news of equal treatment in all aspects to this team, as was for the Olympics cast, in terms of allowances and cash prize for each medal won. Ogwang also re echoed the need for the development of parasports infrastructure in the country. Athletes, and that is the same prize for Olympics, both para and the Olympics. So, mine, what I have learned here is entirely an investment in sports. Number two, what I've learned here is that we need to put in a lot of investment also in the para sport because to be honest, the equipment is quite expensive for para sport. Like I was told, the spice schools which they were using for competing, there are some of them which cost about 20,000 US dollars. But also there are other equipment which I'm very sure we will be able to do better. But they have also appreciated government for the first time the kind of facilitation they have got, the kind of support for their qualification they have got, it's quite big to them. Swimmer Husna Kukundakwe, who returns to the pool this week for the S8 50m freestyle, welcomed the development of putting the athletes in the same category for the stipend and facilitation. Um, that Just that concept in general shows how, how Uganda is moving towards equality and inclusion for people with disabilities. Um, just knowing that the Olympics and Paralympics are now considered to be at the same level and acquiring the same opportunities is already an achievement in all that. So just, and also because he spoke about being a professional athlete. A professional athlete without maybe any other side jobs can be quite expensive, paying for training fees, food, all that stuff. So with these parastatals and this monthly salary that comes with them, it's to support that training. Uganda is uh, represented by four athletes at the Games, with the others being uh, the two runners David Imong and Peace Oroma, and paralifter Dennis Simbazira. Last but not least, we are coming back and I'm going to carry out a, a mobilization drive because I'm very sure there are many para, para sportsmen and women who are out there at home, various parts of the country, who maybe would have been done better, but in terms of our messaging in terms of encouraging parents to bring them up to do this work, maybe it has been low. I want to call upon now dear parents who have children with disabilities that is no longer a question of a child being disabled, it's a question that they can do what we can do who are not disabled. So I challenge all of them that they finally this competition they are there, let's make the best use of them. These are the opportunities the children will get.